what was going on with Gary financially? Um, what happened? You married a guy that you thought was very successful and had told you he was very successful. Right. But what had happened? What was really going on? He owed a lot of people money. We would go to Las Vegas. He was gambling a lot. Big sums, too? Big sums. And was he losing a lot? Yeah, he would gamble like, you know, $30,000 a hand type of a thing, blackjack. And then they give you a little piece of paper that's a marker, which is like an IOU. And he'd sign it, you know, and I would keep those, uh, keep those like in my cocktail bag or something. And at one point, uh, this was later in the marriage, one point it was about maybe two to three million dollars worth of markers I had. That Gary owed the casino? Yeah. 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 So you're telling me you fell in love with one man, Gary Triano, yeah. who then, once you were married, turned out to be another man. Um, pretty much. But I was in love and I made the decision, this is, this, I'm going to create a family, I've gotten married, this is, uh, um, I'm fine myself, I can work, um, I can provide stability, um, I can make him the best person he can be and, you know, that's what happened. When Gary fell into this debt, mm -hmm. how did his relationship with you change? Um, there was things happening with him that I couldn't understand. I mean, that I didn't understand. There was things happening with him in terms of uh, his uh, um, not being very stable, um, being... Uh, um, emotionally? Emotionally not stable. Um, Give me more. What do you mean by unstable? Angry? Um, paranoid? What paranoid, was he? Paranoid, jealous, uh, even violent in some situations. You know, violent. This is important. What did he do? Um, there was a time where, uh, where I had uh, um, some friends come in from uh, out of the country and I was spending some time with my girlfriend and he, uh, I came back and he was uh, absolutely violent. I mean, he threw me, where were you, what are you, you know, just, just crazy. And I had bruises all over my neck and my, you know, I mean, it was just crazy, <laughs> like that, you know, so. You know, I don't know what was happening. Pam, I know this is really hard for you to talk happening. about. Yeah. This is really hard to talk about. Mm -hmm. But I think the details here are important. You said you had bruises on your neck. What mm -hmm. did he do? He just lost it. I mean, he just lost it. You know, and I had uh, my girlfriend saw them. I mean, it was something that was, you know. Did he choke you? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So that was when he was making a ton of money. Uh, who knows? Did he ever hit you? Yeah, I don't know for how much I want to get into this, but yeah, there was some definitely, I eventually ended up getting a restraining order at one point, you know, so I had to be, you know, I had to be careful um, to protect myself, my kids, my, you know, yeah. From Gary's violence? He was off the wall, off the wall, off the wall. Was he threatening you verbally? Um, he threatened me verbally, yes. There is a quote from Gary that you told police years ago that he said to you, I'm thinking about killing you and then turning the gun on myself. Do you remember him saying that? That was part of a, um, that was, yeah, that was part of a, that was part of a, a restraining order thing that they gave me, yeah. He, he, he was, he was very, very unstable and he had, uh, um, uh, one night I woke up um, and he had a, well, at one point he had a gun on, at my head. Then he was sitting on a, on, uh, on a chair and he had a gun, um, just playing with a gun. He was just off the wall. I talked the gun out of his hand. Uh, I said, what are you doing? You know, we started talking and I got talked the gun out of his hand. I don't even know how to uncock a gun, you know. Did you fear Gary? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I, Gary feared himself, I think. <laughs> Gary feared himself. Gary feared everything. Gary was f totally uh, um, in fear.